Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So uh, last night, um, you know, I, I, I've been following John Levy now. It just started to really deep dive a little bit more into this stuff specifically as I find it's fascinating. And, you know, he's, I think he knows what we know to a degree, but he's careful not to say it the way we kind of say it, you know. Um, anyway, last night he comes out with a new one on Sundays, apparently. And so, uh, you know, I was watching it and we were about half to two thirds through. And then all of a sudden it was pulled and it, it was pulled. And oh my God, it brings flashbacks to me. I am like traumatized by when YouTube does this to you. Uh, it's traumatic because you really want to know what exactly was it that they don't want people seeing. And we're going to do a video on EE Arts that's going to cover what we saw um, that might be what he was. He was going down a rabbit hole. He's using words lately. Um, like yeah, like the words we use. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, saying, who are these mysterious controllers that seem to be uh, redoing our civilization on a regular basis? And um, I think I think he, he I think he knows, but he's, uh, you know, very careful to keep his channel flowing. But, you know, again, we were worried because uh, it got taken out mid watching it. And again, he doesn't post um, too often. So if you have a strike against you, then you can't post for a full week. Um, we went and checked his Patreon. Doesn't look like he's done anything on Patreon this year, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, you know, hopefully everything is okay. Hopefully he doesn't have a strike. Maybe he took it down himself because there was something he wanted to um, edit, I guess. I don't know. Well, that's what I'm I'm hoping for. You know, I try to hope on the positive side of things that maybe he realized a mistake or maybe he had misspoken. And, and, you know, for him, that's reason enough to pull it down and, and fix it. But it was disturbing and it, it did. It did bring back traumas, you know, of, of us just suddenly you're in trouble from from the YT, the YT parents. And hopefully he's OK and it's OK and it's just a nothing burger. No, yeah, uh, let's hope so. So anyway, I just wanted to make note of that. And as always, we want to give thanks to everybody over at Patreon, where, where we do update it uh, all the time. Every video goes up on Patreon. Um, in the old days, it used to be they had to do links. Now they do uh, have their own server, um, <clears throat> which they give you a, a, a limited number of space, but they've been blessing us enough to keep increasing it every time I run up to the to the max without deleting older videos from you know many many years ago so it is a blessing and there are exclusives that go up there um every week uh so again thank you everybody that is supporting us over there this uh is the zeparitia nuclear power plant which was on fire you know this we were i was almost going to do one last night when we were in bed and pull us out of bed uh to do it but I thought let's let's see what happens in the morning uh, and let's see uh, how this progresses you know this is it said Ukraine fired on this now RT of course Russia today is going to take that side um, but you know this was fired upon uh, apparently by Ukrainian forces which did light the fire um, you know you have the blaze they said now is um, under control and and everything is going to be okay is what they tell us yet this is um something that uh, about a year ago the guides told us just watch this really carefully because it seems that they have this in their you know painted in the center of their bullseye as a target again ukraine is a breadbasket. It, it's a very very productive agricultural area that is, you know, being uh, ravaged here. And if you did have radiation spread, uh, it would not be good. But again, we've seen so many things happen. That's all about cutting down food supply because, 
you know, ultimately, if you really want to control people, uh, then, you know, if they got to go to you to get food, well, that's a good way of controlling people. People get to be a little bit more manageable when they're starving. Oh, it's, it's a horrible tactic, but they do it all the time. Yeah. And, you know, this is, I forget if it was John that was talking about this last night. Um, you, you, I don't think people understand how these resets really happen. And so often with a lot of the same tactics, a lot of the same tactics, you know, there's a whole new group of, of people out there that are, uh, you know, full generation or two younger than me uh, that are, are picking up the torch and doing deep dives down our history rabbit hole. Um, many of them are what we would call flat earthers. And while we don't think the earth is flat per se, we do think that they're, they're on to a lot of things uh, that are good questions. You know, and the control system itself is, is something uh, that we need to to look at a little bit more closely. Uh, now, here you go. The Iron Dome apparently malfunctioned or was somehow taken offline or they chose not to utilize it because you had strikes from Hezbollah and there was nothing shot up in the air to take them out before they hit. They all came down and hit. That's something we haven't seen before. Uh, this is northern Israel, and I've seen a lot of comments there. And I'm just going to you know, say some people are wondering if this was done purposely to let things through in order to get people more angry and irritated and more riled up saying counter-strike, you know, uh, trying to amplify the war. So some people are, you know, thinking along the lines of a CONS piracy theory. Uh you know, when you look at this, I gotta, I gotta wonder what's going on. Some sources say, again, these were rockets that were provided by Russia recently. There's also other sources. Now there's videos showing what appears to be Chinese troops fighting with Russian troops over there. Uh, also, I've seen sources uh, saying that now Nor North Korean weapons are being used as well as Iranian weapons which you know has been kind of ongoing so in other words we really are in a in a third world war you know situation at this point it just really hasn't completely deteriorated um, but it is very curious to see the failure of the iron dome here is it intentional or not complete iron dome failure that just doesn't you know did they hack it somehow did they you know what's going on as you see all the people are saying wait a minute hey where's the iron dome because usually you see the incoming and you see all these uh rockets that are shot up to blow up in the proximity and cause the explosion of the incoming rockets and usually it works pretty well not the case i don't know if you pick up anything you know i i think what has happened is they work on this thing um, that I call desensitizing and they put the information out there and and you you see these headlines you know Israel has been struck and blah 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 and it happens like every day three times a day so people are are yawning they get to a point where and and that's unfortunate people shouldn't be so complacent when rockets are hitting an, another place any place on the planet it's just it shouldn't be a normal but it is and they make it normal and to break that normalcy they up the ante they do something really yucky you know to get people's attention again and to get the rise out of the humans to get the rise out of the energy to feed the gin um, they have to keep upping the ante yeah and that's exactly what uh, this post says which um, I won't put up there because it could get us in, in possible trouble there just know as far as the sun and solar flares go, the KP has uh, been hanging between 6 and 7. So, yeah, it's it's been at an increased level. Uh, there have been several uh, impacts coming in from the CMEs. Now, what we saw before has made it so it's almost hard to look at a KP index of six and get excited because we had so much energy coming in before. 
it was incredible and and we really had just you know historical um energy which does impact us and even when it is lower it impacts us i think we're all getting more energy uh sensitive if we've been avoiding you know everything from the fluoridated water to all the things that make you say ouch and etc etc uh the foods and you know the gmo foods and all that some uh, aurora being seen a little bit lower uh latitudes it definitely is is what is changing our dna and awakening our dna i thought this was uh interesting to share if you haven't seen john ramirez he's he's made all the rounds uh he retired from the cia at the equivalent rank of a colonel he says there are three categories to consider when dealing with non-human intelligence you have entities that have been here long before humanity appeared and may have had some hand in <clears throat> making us who we are today, I think is a good way to say it. Because it's not that they created us. Again, the body is just a vehicle. So, you know, when we, we look to the souls, uh, the real source spark of many beings that are incarnated today, um, you will find some more ancient beings than, uh, obviously, uh, certainly the human physical controllers that we see uh and some of the non-human as well as as again uh there's a lot of help that is here in human form that has had uh experiences of a non-human variety uh he says i was flown out to arizona to have lunch with john during this meal he told us he believes hybridization between human and alien dna is a core secret within the cia um, I'll tell you that, you know, hybridization, uh, what we call alien a lot, like when we're talking about the takeover that really did come from Mars, the ones we call the GG, um, you know, that they are human. <laughs> they're, they're human. They're not necessarily uh, completely homo sapiens sapiens. What, what you have is a program that's been ongoing to eliminate many strains of what was here on earth as far as a genetic lineage they are and they have been and it's it's just this is part of the big whole redo program it's redoing the earth's population with those that have more of that warlike mars uh lineage and also are easier controllable this is really what's been going on. They, they get rid of the ones that are not controllable, the ones that have more psychic abilities, more quote-unquote paranormal abilities. And people are, are waking up to this. And yeah, absolutely. When you look at all the abduction phenomenon uh, cases, you'll see so many that fit the exact same bill. They're just they're taking genetic samples. They're... It, in the book, uh, The Watchers, Raymond Fowler um, says that the Greys identified themselves to the abductee as the Watchers. The biblical Watchers were the Watchers. And we're watching uh, <coughs> humanity. We're watching the planet. We're noting the level of uh, pollutions and carcinogens and et cetera, et cetera. They make it out like they're doing it in a benevolent manner. But really what they're doing is trying to populate the earth with enough uh, beings that have just enough intelligence to stay alive and take orders uh, you know and all grays are not created equal they're not all really really horrible there are grays that i do believe come from our future which actually could be us i i did have a dream um like a, a creation dream and there were grays in it but they were teaching humans how to use their abilities so i think we have uh, you know some in information back and forth I, I think we have good and bad just like we always do yin and yang going on when it comes to the grays but for the most part my experiences with the exception of that one dream my experiences with them have not been very good no absolutely now this is something that a man is is filming and he's got his little one there or his grandson um and he's just making comments saying i don't know I, I don't know what that is now you know it, it does look like it has something akin to very small wing or wings on it 
but it has this feel that it's it's not an airplane yet it's flying at airplane height um i took a a little screenshot and blew it up you know it kind of hits me as the um i forget what they call that there's nasa has these experimental planes that go up sometimes they stay up for years they almost look like a little space shuttle they have very many wings now it looks like it could be something like that but you know again any one case and you get people that will say well why do you trust anybody like john ramirez because he worked in the cia you can't trust anybody in the cia i agree you know as you can see uh, he, he held quite a few posts and it, it's not based on one person. It's not based on him. It's not based on one author. It's not based on one sighting. You have millions of sightings, millions. You have so many people that have come out of the woodwork that have worked in government in, in you know, top secret uh, spots that, that share a, a story that is pretty analogous uh, with each other. Yeah, and then you have all the mythologies of the people themselves, the indigenous people that have been persecuted all over the world, you know, straight out when you talk to uh, Native Americans, whether they're Cherokee, Hopi, or whatever, uh, you'll find that they have the same stories. You know, there are absolutely beings that they say come from the stars that are here, also ones that are inside the earth, inner earth. Um, and sometimes come up to the surface. You know, it's millions of pieces of evidence, maybe more than millions of pieces of evidence. Now, this is from a video on TikTok, and it's saying there was a mysterious microchip inside a 12,000-year-old skull. 12,000 years is right about where uh, you had the Younger Dryas event, according to the timelines that they give us, and that might not be correct, because again, um, I think it was either, no, it wasn't John Levy. It was um, my, my lunch break, I think, was talking about um, the, f the whole carbon dating thing. And we've, we've brought that up too. Um, because again, everything that's used in science, I don't think we could trust. You might point it out and say this is what they're you know, showing us, but do we trust it? No, we, we feel into it. And, and again, you get people, and, and it, it probably is not their own fault. You, you get people that are so uh, either indoctrinated <clears throat> that they have this cognitive dissonance, or they literally have drank too much fluoride and eaten too many things to uh, really think clearly anymore. This is, this is part of the plan. They don't want anybody thinking clearly anymore. This is why they try to teach you that meditation is harmful. It, it might you know, raise your risk of heart attack and stroke. Y yeah, because they don't want you developing your own perceptive abilities. There was another article that was talking about the fact that, again, a, a declassified nature, somebody in, it used to be in one of the alphabet soups saying, no, they recognize actually there's 22 or 23 different human senses that have been labeled at some point in time. And, uh, you know, maybe our Uncle Joe could, <laughs> I don't know if he, yeah, he probably is not allowed to talk about that, but uh, Uncle Joe knows he's, he is one of our patrons. Uh, and again, he's in, in a very, very high position. Um, but we've had these discussions about how there are people that are pulling for us to figure things out, but they can't necessarily tell us when they're in a very high position. But, <clears throat> but they can kind of give you a pat on the back when you catch something right you know and it's like our guides because again the guides can't interfere with our human experience and say oh well let me tell you all about why you think it's a flat earth to the flat earthers no they can't do that 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 kind of blows up the human experience but if you guess right <clears throat> you know they'll they'll kind of give you a little wink and nod <laughs> So, hey, we just keep throwing it out there, right? And you keep trying to hone in on it. And, you know, this is, that is in particular one of the things that I want to deep dive into more because there is something there. Um, and that will be more on uh, EE Arts. So we, we are, we've been blessed right now at this point, I'm being a little long-winded, um, to where we have all, all three channels without any sort of, as far as YouTube goes, again, everything goes up on Patreon. Uh, and there are those watching from, from BitChute, Brighty, and, and Rumble as well. 
you know, Rumble has been, um, you know, uh, it's 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 building over there. It's building over there. Uh, you know, at least you know, Rumble has repaid us with um, enough uh, for maybe half a ga- tank of gas. Yeah. You know, uh, since uh, the five years we've been up on Rumble, but it's still it, it's a freer speech. It feels like it. it's a freer speech. Um, you have to know too. Uh, everything is controlled, and it is also compartmentalized. So you know, it depends on where you are looking from. There's certain topics that will be um, verbatim at that particular uh, venue that may not be verbatim at another venue. So this is saying, have you encountered grays? And if so, what was it like? And I ask you guys, please do share your experiences because a lot of people are afraid to share their experiences because of ridicule, because they will get totally ridiculed. Oh yeah, sure, sure. You know, you're just what were you drinking? What were you smoking? Et cetera, et cetera. Did you have too many Xanax? <clears throat> the reality is, I think a very high percentage of the population is watched by Greys all the time. All the time. I mean, they, they follow us everywhere. They follow from a distance. Uh, they used to interfere. There was a tall Grey that used to interfere with everything we did. And in New Mexico, um, Cindy could see it where it was I, I have seen a tall gray manifest in front of me um, and what I did was I'd, I'd go run out and jump in into its energy field and send energy into its energy field and then it would pull farther and farther away because we are way more powerful than them when you realize it you have to recognize your own inherent power it's not in any name you'll have some people say it's only in the name of jesus and i'll say unequivocally no it's not because we've gotten rid of thousands of of entities thousands this is what we do every day is banish entities we have people that will text us call us and you know we've worked on thousands of people and you know banishing entities is something uh, that anybody can do if you're rooted and grounded enough in a strong spiritual practice and you believe you can. Mm-hmm. That's that's really important is that spiritual pra- practice and to stick with it and stay with it. But, you know, I do believe these things do definitely take advantage of people who um, are not on their best path. They definitely get in there and they can wreak havoc and be a thorn in the side for so many people and and that's why we definitely want to be as healthy as we can as you know uh as sharp as we can and just be in a really really good space but you don't want to let these things in and let them torment you because they will they enjoy it it's nothing to them it's just pure fun so so you don't want to go down the path where you have these you know, huge cracks in your aura where you're doing things or taking things that are going to open you up to them. Um, it, it just really screws you up. You know, you, you really want to be grounded uh, and when dealing with them. And, and that actually makes it very uncomfortable for them to get very close to you. You're very uncomfortable. They don't like it at all. And they'll flee from you, uh, you know, again. You don't have to say the words, get behind me, Satan. It's all about intention. And it's all about recognizing source is in you. Nature can be very surprising. You just don't know what you're stepping on some of the times. Look at that thing. Wow, that's kind of crazy. But then it's, it's also loaded with creatures that have come here from many different places. Now, this is making uh, the rounds. I see everybody posting this out there on X. Detroit News, Titanic's 1,470 passengers taken off in mid-ocean without loss of life? Hmm. Wait a minute here. Now, I I think one of the biggest moments in history that um, we should look at, you know, is the Titanic sinking because, again, what was happening was they were starting the Federal Reserve. (laughs) And, you know, you had key bankers that were on this ship that supposedly went down uh, from families that we would, you know, say are illuminating. Yeah, absolutely. Illuminating families were on that ship that went down. 
as we know, um, you know, by the stories and how the stories went. Now, I'm old enough, and I had old enough people in my family to talk about the Titanic, and, and you know, my mom was a historian, so, yeah, you know, so she, she, she she believed it went down. I mean, I know this from, and, and now my mom was, uh, um, yeah, not my mom, but if you, if you go to my, my aunts, yeah, they were, you know, adults at this time. So, you know, they have clear memories and, and, and again, so this, this is, you know, uh, interesting and somebody probably doctored this, this feels like it's, it's fake, but I, I think the point is the fact that anything could be manipulated and the reality is that, you know, a lot of our history is, is completely revised and rewritten and this is just really cool. I want to go do that today. You got to get your vibe just right to fly. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, this this does remind me of astral projecting because when we astral project, we're in orb form and we can go anywhere. And in fact, when we're out of the body, this is all this is how we get around. We think. Now, we may in our mind not fly because at first it's just like the movie Ghost. You have to, you know, it's what your beliefs are. You might not realize you don't have to you know, walk with legs that aren't really there anymore. Uh, you can just simply think it. You, you, you use the area that is where your pineal gland is. Um, you focus in on that and that will propel you. You just think about where you want to go. This is, you know, again, uh, it's a good technique to, to learn in meditation. Imagine yourself uh, flying. It just visualize. This is one of the meditations I would do a long time ago. Is I would get to the point where I started to to not feel the body anymore, controlling the breath, and then will yourself out of the body. See yourself rising up out of the body. I would always visualize uh, the house and and the property and the surroundings. Then I would think of a place that I wanted to go, and then mentally head off in that direction trying to make note of as many details as possible you know it's it's something that when you're in body you you get this uh just you know the sense that you have arms and legs and that does take a little while to to fade away so it, it's a habitual type of feeling that we have before we turn back into an orb if we so wish you know, I think one of the things that's probably quite concerning to the controllers and why we have so many grays is humans, if they get their senses going and if they're able to get in touch with their senses and use their senses and allow their senses to guide them through life, that's not good for them. They, then people are no longer going to be conformed. They're no longer going to be in that in that. Con construct that the controllers need them to be in because well you know they just start going off in another direction they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing so i do think a lot of things in this world are to just dampen down the senses and make sure humans don't they don't recognize them or use them and these are some of the blocks in ancient Cusco, uh peru again you know why did they do them this way i think they did them just to show us they could do them I do. I think they did it just to show off and, um, you know, saying, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Because when we look at other beings, I don't think they differ too, too much. The ones that came to this earth to create and to show off their building skills. I think that's exactly what they're doing. And they had fun doing it. And somebody else is having fun here. I know. I mean, this little guy, he's just really enjoying life. I mean, talk about relaxation. He trusts his daddy. There's not a worry in his mind. I don't think, you know, maybe he's keeping an eye out for sharks, but this is super cute. Absolutely. So, guys, as always, we look forward to your comments. Thanks for being part of the family. Couldn't do it without all of you guys out there. Much love, source bless, and namaste. Namaste.